I'm Steve Horseman with Springfield Armory. What I'm gonna show you today is how to disassemble, clean, lubricate, and reassemble your Hellcat. First thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure the gun is unloaded. Okay, so for me, the way I do it is I'm gonna lock the slide to the rear, I'm gonna push up on this slide stop, okay, and I'm gonna pull the slide back. When I do that, that engages the slide stop, the slide locks to the rear. I'm gonna physically and visually check to make sure there's no ammunition or no magazines in the gun, okay? Now, from there, I've already got the slide locked to the rear, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn and push the disassembly lever to the 12 o'clock position, from the nine o'clock to the 12 o'clock position. So from there, I can take the slide off of the gun. I'm gonna hold on to the slide and I'm gonna push down on the slide stop and I'm gonna let it go back into battery and I'm gonna press the trigger, and then you're able to take the slide off of the frame, okay? Set the frame down and from there, I'm going to take the recoil assembly out of the gun. This is a captured recoil assembly. All the XDs and the Hellcats series of guns have a captured recoil spring assembly. I'm just gonna push forward and up and pull up on the back part of that recoil assembly and it comes off just like that, okay? From the barrel, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the locking lug, I'm just gonna lift up and slide the barrel out towards the back of the slide. The first thing I like to do is I'll do the barrel. Okay, I like to use rags or paper towels just to wipe off any external lubrication, dirt, debris that I can see, okay? Now, in your nooks and crannies, I like to use a Q-tip to wipe off anything that I can't see or, or in those tight little places, okay? If you have a lot of fouling in there, you can use a toothbrush or an M16 brush. I really like these because it's got the smaller end here and the regular toothbrush size in there, okay? If I've got any debris or fouling here, I can use it to loosen that up and use my rag or my Q-tip to get any of it off, okay? The barrel, inside of the barrel, okay? The meat and potatoes of the barrel, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a brush to loosen up some of that fouling that's inside the barrel. In this case, I have a nylon brush, which work okay. I also will use a bronze or a brass brush, okay? So I'll take my barrel and I'll run my brush through it, like I said, to get some of that fouling out of there, okay? So I'm brushing that through there four, five, six times. Just depends on how much, how many rounds you've had through the gun since it was last cleaned. That loosens up that fouling. And from there, I'll take my rod, take the brush off, and I'll put a jag or a patch puller on the rod and then I'll take a patch, and the Jags are caliber specific. I call these patch pullers. I don't know what, what the industry calls them, but that's what I call them. I've loosened up some of that fouling inside the barrel, and I'll take a solvent of some kind or a, or a CLP type of a cleaner lubricant preservative kind of thing. With my solvent patch, I will run that patch through there. Same thing, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, okay? And, and you're trying to remove as much of that, that loosened fouling as you can. You'll notice by this one, guys, it's, it's relatively clean. I'll take a... Uh, dry patch to get out any additional solvent out of the barrel, okay? And then I'll just use the, the, the clean patch to run that through there to get any additional solvent out of the barrel, okay? Now, depending on where you live and if you're gonna store the gun, you might have to look into uh, some additional products to keep the gun free from rust, that kind of thing. But for now, when I'm gonna use the gun and shoot it, I don't like to put any, any solvents or any um, preservatives inside the barrel itself, okay? So I've cleaned the barrel. All right, now with the recoil spring assembly, I'll notice a lot of times it, it'll stay relatively clean, but if you need, just take a rag. I run the, the, the rag around it just like that. If I need, you'll, know, you'll see a little bit of lube came off, set it aside, then I pick up the slide. Now on the slide, the same thing applies, guys. If you have a bunch of fouling, use your toothbrush, okay, in the, in the rails and in the back part of the gun, but just be careful the bristles don't come off or that sort of thing, so pay attention to when you're doing that. Also, when you clean the breech face, okay, which will have some fouling on it, what you wanna do is you wanna keep the breech face with the firing pin or the striker hole facing downward because you don't want any of that debris to go down into that striker channel. And that applies to all kind of semi-automatic handguns, okay? Use the brush to loosen some of that fouling. If you need to use and clean underneath the extractor hook, use the small end of that M16 brush. Another reason I like it, okay? You can get some of the fouling out of there. Now. After you've loosened up most of that fouling on the inside of the slide, I like to take a Q-tip and get that loosened fouling out of there, okay? Um, and I'll use a handful of Q-tips on every time I'm cleaning my guns. Same thing with the breech face, get it off of there, all right? And any, any fouling you can see. Now, people will ask, well, how do you clean those little uh, slide rails? You can take a Q-tip in there, and that'll work pretty good, guys, but I found that if I take the small end of the M16 brush, 
lay the slide on its side, put a patch on that small end of that M16 brush, and that fits in there nicely. And that'll get most of that stuff out of there. Most of that fouling will come out of that slide rail, okay? Do that on both sides. Use a fresh side of the patch. Do the other side of the slide rail. Again, that's getting most of that oil and, and fouling out of that groove, okay? And it works pretty good, okay? Then inspect it, it looks pretty clean. From here, I'm gonna set that to the side and go to the frame, all right? Same thing here. If you've got a lot of fouling, use your toothbrush or your M16 brush to loosen up any of that fouling, okay, that's on there, all right? Same thing with the back, okay? Then what you wanna do is you just wanna get that loosened fouling off. So you can use a patch, a rag, a Q-tip, whatever you're using, and wipe any of that fouling off of there, okay? And sometimes with the Q-tips, I like, you can reach down in the small little nooks and crannies, but pay attention that you don't hook any of that Q-tip material off and it stays inside the gun. It ca could cause the gun to malfunction, okay? So wipe any excess lube off, any fouling that you didn't get off previously, and you should be set to rock. From here on the slide, what I'll do is I'll put a little drop right there on the inside flat of the slide because that's where the barrel moves back and forth. The barrel hood will move back and forth on there. You can see a little bit of wear mark on there and this gun hasn't been shot much. Little wear mark right there, you won't have some oil there. Also, I start about the middle of the slide rail and I'll put a little bead of oil from the middle to the rear, okay? Now, from there, I will take the barrel and you'll notice that there's some of the little wear marks on there. It's not a big deal, okay? I'll put a little bead of oil just like that and I'll take my finger and just kind of wipe the lube around. And that's about all you need to do for the barrel, okay? Now, to install the barrel into the slide, just take the muzzle end of the barrel and just slide it in, do that corresponding hole that's on the front of the slide, okay, and let it drop in, and then pull it back and it'll drop down into that little notch, okay? If the recoil spring assembly needs to be lubed, which it doesn't all the time, but it does need a little bit, I just put a little couple drops on the big part and a couple little drops on the, on the smaller portion. Now, remember, when you put the captured recoil spring back in your Hellcat, you want the bigger diameter spring going towards the front of the gun, towards the muzzle end, okay? So you'll notice that there's a little half moon cutout right there. I'm gonna match that half moon cutout with the back part of this recoil assembly. So I'll, put, I'll drop it into its hole in the front of the slide, and then I just push forward and down, and it'll lock right into place, and you can let go of it, and you're good to go, all right? Now with the rail, I'm sorry, the frame, doesn't need a lot of places that are lubricated, but you'll notice there's some wear marks right here. And what that comes from is because that's where the slide is moving back and forth. I'll put a little bead right there and a little bead right there. I don't put a bead there so much because I have a bead on the slide itself. And then I'll put a little drop right there because that's where the barrel slides up and down on that locking block, okay? So from there, doesn't matter guys if your disassembly lever is in the down position, the nine o'clock position or the 12 when you reassemble it, it's okay because when you put the slide back on it, it will move it into that 12 o'clock position, okay? So what I'll do is I'll match up that locking block rails with the slide rails and I'll slide it on. Now from here, I want to push up on that slide stop because that's gonna lock the slide to the rear. That's gonna allow you to push that disassembly lever into the locked position. As you'll notice, when I do that, you'll see that the disassembly lever is gonna come up. Like, just like it did, okay? Okay, it doesn't matter, guys, like I said, if it's down or up, when you put it back on, it'll be fine. Okay, it's locked, the slide is locked to the rear. That allows me to uh, lock the disassembly lever back down into its nine o'clock position, and the gun is back assembled, and you're ready to rock. So there you go. We field stripped, cleaned, lubricated, and assembled a Hellcat pistol. Guys, you can find out more information about your Hellcat in your owner's manual. You can also find out lots more information about all the Springfield Armory guns at springfield-armory.com.